Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, I could tell a lot of my haters recently are basically women who are victims of sexual abuse. What? So you're saying that the reason people hate you is because they are victims of sexual abuse and putting all their pain onto you? Really? Well, I was at a loss of what to do today. Was I going to be doing a video about Johnson and the Brexit and the Tory party imploding shenanigans? But then my good friend Hatman pointed me in the direction of Alpha Genesis and his latest video. So today I'm going to talk about that. <coughs> Hello, I'm Mr G and welcome back to another one of my videos. There's been a small YouTuber who's been making himself known in the community as a controversial figure. His name is Gerald Genesis, aka Alpha Genesis. Now he does a variety of Talking Heads videos and streams. Back in August he streamed that he didn't care about an age of a person who he was going out with. I don't care about age, I date anybody, it doesn't matter. I don't follow society's rules and you know people think ill of me for that but it doesn't matter to me. I never cared about what people think of me. You know, that's why Chris calls me a pedo and all these funny names, you know, even though he's really just, I, I don't think there's a word that can describe his level of sickness, but if you feel you have chemistry towards someone, you know, like you connect in a spiritual way, then go for it. Whether they're, you know, 14, 48, 99, whatever, doesn't matter, dude. Since then, he's been getting a lot of hate on these videos. On September the 7th, he released a video entitled To All Victims of Sexual Abuse, in which, in the video, he blames women who have been sexually abused to be the source of his haters. So let's take a look at that video. How's it going, y'all? It's Jared Genesis. Uh, I've got another serious video today. And, you know, it's funny. This one actually goes out to my haters, but it's a positive video. This is not a negative video. So basically it's this, uh, I could tell a lot of my haters recently are basically women who are victims of sexual abuse, as well as simps who defend them, but we're not really talking about them today. Uh, you know, really pretty young ladies too, it's just, it's kind of sad. So Jared is saying straight away he is getting hate from pretty women. Now the thing is, some creators have a habit of saying they've got haters when they get negativity in their comments. The thing is... If a comment is being justified in its negativity, then it's not hate. You see, Jared has a habit of being controversial, so maybe that negativity is justified. And seeing that on my channel, you know, women who look like they have such great potential and can do so much for themselves in the world, but instead they're just hating. And it really is quite, uh, quite an interesting thing. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Um, but you gotta see, guys, you gotta understand that a lot of victims of sexual abuse, they don't know how to control their emotions, it's that bad for them, and so a lot of times they become trolls, or even worse, they become, you know, sexual uh, uh, molesters themselves. What? If someone is a victim of sexual abuse, they don't become trolls because they can't control their emotions. They have gone through a traumatic experience, but that doesn't mean they're going to lash out and pick on the nearest YouTuber they find. If anything, they've got an understanding that maybe what you said in the past is completely and utterly abhorrent to them. Or even rapists. If you look at statistics, it backs up exactly what I'm saying. A lot of people who are victims of sexual abuse actually become abusers themselves. Where did you get your figures from? Studies have shown it is approximately 1 in 10 victims of sexual abuse become abusers themselves. So it isn't as high as Jared is making out. And that really is such a uh, very, very bad shame. So my advice to everyone who struggles with sexual abuse is simply this. Understand, venting on other people is not going to help you. It may give you somewhat of a cheap high, but in reality, you're destroying yourself by doing it because I know you still have a consciousness. Some of you may be, you know, <laughs> soulless creeps, but a lot of you, I don't think you are. I think you still have a consciousness. You know what you're doing is wrong, and it's destroying you by being a troll. Once again, he is saying that all his negative comments are coming from trolls. That isn't the case at all. It's like no one is allowed to give him criticism for all his past comments on his videos and live streams. So my best advice to you is to simply just seek help. If not through a therapist, then through a friend, through a family member, you can get better. There's always, you know, the, the light at the end of the tunnel. 
So, uh, I'm praying for you guys, you know, I pray for my haters. I'm pretty certain that anyone who's been a victim of sexual abuse in their past has already gone through therapy. So your advice to them there was pretty useless, to be honest. Because I know as a Christian that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, some of them, though, I don't pray for because they're just soulless demons, but... For those of you who are not, you know, those kinds of people, I do pray. If you were a Christian, you wouldn't have said it was okay to go with a child. To me, that has not been a Christian in any shape or form whatsoever. What you said on that live stream was pretty disgusting, and I'm not surprised that you got hate for it. I pray for you. Uh, there's no point in praying for a demon, guys. Just realize that, uh, you know, some of my stalkers are just, there's no hope for them. And again, apparently he has stalkers. They're not stalkers, but people who want to keep him in check. You see, if you say something controversial, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, there are going to be people out there who will call you out for it. But, uh, you know, they're in God's hands. There's nothing I can do. So it's really, you know, it's his call with them. But for those of you who still have hope, who aren't completely soulless, I do pray for you. And I pray that you get better. And I just want you to know that I'm sorry for whatever it is that happened to you, and I'm sorry that maybe I remind you of that person, that aggressor. I'm not. I'm not a bad guy. But you are a bad guy, because of the things that you have said in the past shows that you are into sex with children. That is not normal in any shape or form, and people are going to come after you for it. I would never, ever, ever hurt a child especially, let alone a woman. Uh, I've, you know, I haven't even been in many relationships myself. You know, um, I'm MGTOW, I have other focuses, other ambitions, but um, I do love women, and I'll be the first to admit that. But you said you are happy to go with people regardless of their age, whether they're older or younger, and those younger people were below the legal limit. What you said breaks the law, and it is not surprising that people are now coming after you for it. You've got to accept responsibility that what you say online, you're going to be held accountable. But I'm from Texas, and down here we believe in something called chivalry. And I have nothing but respect for women, so I just want that to be known as well. Anyways, guys, I guess that's pretty much all I got. Um, I'm blocking all hate comments now. It's over and done with, you know. Um, <laughs> I was starting to edge lord on my trolls a little bit, and that's when it's time to pretty much, you know, finish it up there. So you're blocking your hate comments now. Have you ever thought that maybe the criticism you're getting are not hate comments, but people telling you truths that you don't like to hear? Um, but you know, it is what it is. Some very shallow people try to get clicks off of this. And because of that, I got trolls. And all I can say is, you know, guys, you have to realize karma's a bitch. And it's going to come back to you. Doing shallow shit, people are going to see what kind of person you are. You know, to YouTubers like Surviving Live, Tipster, all these scumbags on YouTube. They're going to see what kind of person you are, and especially Keemstar. I mean, that guy's pretty much already over, but... Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and God bless. The thing is, the people like Keemstar are calling you out because of what you said was wrong. Even the police turned up that day during your live stream because people were worried of what was being said to them. Here is a clip of that moment a few weeks ago. I'm not scared. It's fine. Guys, listen, if something happens to me, I regret nothing at all. So you guys have a wonderful life. I'm going to keep doing me. Doesn't matter, bro. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm completely fine. And, you know, I hope you guys find peace in your life. Harassing people that you don't know. Uh, being a complete dickhead. You guys are truly disgusting people. And I hope you find peace with God because... I know a lot of you are going to rot in hell where you belong. You're going to rot in fucking hell, dude. And I'll be laughing at you from heaven. So I'm not worried about a damn thing, dude. I am not worried about a goddamn thing. It's fine. You know, I've dealt with enough shit in my life. It doesn't matter anymore. You know, it is what it is. I have no record at all. So even if something does happen to me, I'll be out in probably two weeks. Maybe less. Doesn't matter. But one of you people, I don't know what you did, who you called. It doesn't matter, though, man. I'll be back. So, guys, don't you worry your pretty faces. I'll be back soon enough. And uh, it doesn't matter, dude. No, I'm just, I'm sick of it. You guys, you called my goddamn house all day today, harassing my poor mom and dad. You called a pizza to my house. What kind of sick piece of shit does that? And now at 2.20, so, someone's ringing my doorbell constantly. 
You guys are seriously the biggest scumbags I've ever known in my fucking life. You guys are the biggest degenerates and you all belong in hell and I pray that you fucking burn in hell, you sick pieces of shit. You guys are less than zero. You guys are less than zero, honestly. I hope God throws you in hell. Harassing my family. You know, who the fuck calls a pizza to someone's house? What kind of stupid little kid brat does that? You guys are so stupid. And I know you guys are the true failures, <laughs> not me. Taking your time out of your day, four hours to troll me, you guys are the real losers. It's you guys, and I don't give a shit, okay? If something happens, it's totally fine with me. You guys have a wonderful life. Yeah. yeah. God damn it. Have a wonderful life, guys. We got a whole bunch of freaks out there now. Now you could just hear the fear in his voice because he knew what he had been saying was wrong. And if you read some of those comments, he had upset a lot of people of what he was saying because it was pretty disgusting. So I'm just curious like why angry video game nerd is still relevant. I know that some of his stuff is hit or miss, like there's been some decent stuff in the past. But really, how is this guy still on YouTube? When you look at his content, when he does a video or live stream, a lot of times he's not wearing a shirt and showing his bare chest. Now to me, that is not normal in any shape or form when you act on YouTube. And it's not surprising he's picked up a negative force in his comment section. So what do you think to it all? Do you think he is right to be annoyed that he has trolls in his comment section? Or do you think those people commenting have a right to call him out for all the things he has said in the past? I would love to hear from you about this. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.